So before I screw everything into the door, I like to kind of just figure out how it's going to work and I wanted to show you how these pieces connect because it's a little bit hard to show um, just while I'm in middle of the door so <laughs> to show things on both sides. So I just wanted to give you a look. Here is the deadbolt itself. So this is what's going to get screwed into um, your wall. And see this sub section right here where it says top? So that is clearly going to go up top. So you're going to put it into the wall like this facing upward. And this little piece is where this is going to connect. So this part of the door, um, smart lock. So you want to have this um, facing horizontal. It does say that right here, but that means facing like this. And then this piece is going to slide into here. So that just connects, slides on really easily, just like that. So that, imagine this is the door, this is your deadbolt. How simple is this? So this is the part that goes on the outside of your door, clearly, because it has the key. And that is just how it connects. So if, for example, when this is open, it's going to turn that, pop it out. So that is what flies into your door frame. So that is the lock. And that's kind of how it works. I like to see exactly how things work again before I connect them. This piece, you are going to connect to here, to this little spot right there. You're going to snap that in. And that is what is going to power everything up. It just slides right in. Okay, and once you have those two pieces connected, you are going to, again, this is going to be in a door. You're going to connect that. Ta-da! So this is the outside of your door, connected, and here is the inside of your door. So again, you can turn this yourself. Let me hold this. So if you're on the inside and you just want to lock up your house for the night, all you need to do is just turn this and it will pop that out and lock. And if you're on the outside of your door, you can use your fingerprint, you can use your key code, you can use your lock, whatever you want. You can use your uh, swipe card right here and just boop, scan it to open it up. How super cool is this? All right, so I just wanted to give you that close-up view so you can really see how this connects so when you're installing it, um, you don't have to wonder. It is a little bit trickier when you're actually doing it on a door to get a good visual. Simple things like here are the screws. Those are where that's going to screw into your door. And that is just how it goes together. So now let's do it in real life. So before I decided to install the lock, I did want to download the app and get it all set up. So the app was really easy to download. There's a QR code in the manual. So you can select that and then download it set up a registered name and email address and then all you need to do is just find your lock so you keep your phone next to your lock and it automatically detects it so you could see like that it just took about a second to find the lock i renamed it for front door because that is where i'm going to be installing this and then you do need to choose the door opening direction so this is important for the app as well as for when you are installing the actual physical lock so once you have that set, you are ready to go. So there are all the different ways to open the door on the bottom. So you can use those e-keys, you can use your fingerprint, you can use um, anything. See it, so it's right here that it is locked right now. And you can set up passcodes, cards. You can also check the record. So you can even see who entered your door and how. So if somebody has a passcode, you can see that record um, right there in that setting. So here is how to generate a passcode. So you can do this um, a bunch of times. You can have everyone in your family set up with different passcodes, whatever you'd like. So you can share those passcodes. Um, you can name them all so you know everybody's different name and passcode, and you can manage that as the administrator on this lock. And you can erase them. You can give a one-time code, as I mentioned before. And there is the record. So you can see who has what passcode, delete them anytime, change them anytime, whatever you want to do. So you can also add fingerprints. So that is one reason that I liked this lock and wanted to get this specific smart lock because of those fingerprints. So it's even easier to do. You don't even need to remember the code or remember your keys. All you need to do is have your fingerprint, which you should have at all times. So to connect that, you're just gonna swipe your finger on the sensor four times in a row. So that's one time. You can see two times it's kind of developing that like fingerprint image and once it's all set, the lock actually beeped and then it is set to register and lock, unlock with my fingerprint. See right there, it says AB, that's me, and I have my fingerprint ready to go. So now I have a passcode. I didn't set up the cards yet, but you can just scan the cards that came with the smart lock. Um, you can scan them when you're setting it up in the app and those will just register as well. Just 
all those different options. It's just so easy to set up, but there are so many different ways that you can get everything set. So here is the settings as well. You can take a look at these. Um, you can see again, you can do um, the management, see who came in and out. You can change the sensor if you wanted to set that up. Um, you can use the data for the keypad, like who is opening the door, what time. You can also um, have it notify you if your door is open, so you can set up that. And I love this, you can use Amazon Alexa or you can use Google Home with this lock as well. So you could just say, hey, lock my door and it's gonna lock. So you can connect that as well. So you can make your whole house connected, smart house, oh, absolutely love it. And again, all of this you can see in real time how simple all of it was. Um, I also like this feature. You can send an e-key. You can send somebody if they're standing at your door. You can send them a passcode right away. So here's just a quick look at how to install. Um, you do just want to have that top part facing up. You have to have that hole drilled. It does come with a template, so you can drill that if you don't already have a hole drilled. And um, it comes with the deadbolt lock on the door frame as well, so the part that catches it. So this is just simple insertion. Again, comes with all these templates to drill. Um, you don't need to see the drilling part though. <laughs> so once I have it drilled out, I already did. Then you're just gonna connect that again, have that facing horizontal. You're gonna push it into the hole. And then once it goes through, I did mine a little tight because I didn't want it to fall out. Once it goes through, you are gonna go on the other side like this and you're going to connect that wire to the back. So you can see how amazing this looks. This deadbolt lock, so many different ways to open it, so many different ways to use it, and I'm really excited. I never have to lose my keys again. Thanks, everyone.